Hello there everybody, Charles Lucas here, welcome back to the railway. Welcome to another, well, experiments. Today, uh, now, I have done uh, sort of things in the past where I have uh, got my two strongest locomotives, which was the Eden Star and the Class 55 Deltec, um, and put head to head because I thought they were going to be the strongest. Due to the fact that uh, they both have traction tyres, so it's a little bit unfair, but then that gave me an idea. Um, what is my strongest locomotive um, of, of the different wheel configurations? So it's like from the, uh, the smallest, which is the 040, the largest, which is the, uh, well, uh, the 060, plus 060 diesel engine, or in the star, which is basically 210. Uh, so today I'm starting off with the 040s. So let's go meet the first 040. So first I have the, the one on one class Brother Industries number three three nine one and uh, we have signed off with three coaches which is probably the uh, basic number of coaches for an uh, for I they can handle uh, so uh, let's start this off and see what happens. And as you can see easy peasy bit of hard speed there for you. And uh, yeah you see it's going back around. It is easy. Yeah, right. So I'll put another coach on, as you can see. I can easily do that. So I'll just keep the engine off for, for the moment. There we are. And then uh, put this one on. I've got some rubber coaches there. Oh, the one on one class is a Britain Railway locomotive, but it's a, it is privately owned. Uh, Robert Industries, obviously. There we go. Right, that's number two. Can it pull three coaches? Half speed. Seems to be alright, but go on the scale to this is a bit of a hill, it's a tunnel. And then some track, and um, yeah. Slight bit of little sit there. Uh, but three coaches, wow. Yeah. That's uh, quite amazing, actually. Right then, coach number four. Let's take the engine off again. And then I'll put the. Oh, there you are. Oh, hello. Just realised that the uh, thing on there. Uh, well, we hold the four lead couplings, just for us it's got the snaps. But it's not completely broken, it's sort of like come undone from its uh, original position, just had to click it back in. If you did that, hear that click. Right, four coaches. Uh, this is what I normally have uh, with uh, the, the pie attack. Uh, I will be doing uh, freight in a, in a moment, uh, just to see how uh, well. It'll do after them coaches. Right, here we go. Four coaches. Can it pull them? Oh my god. It is literally doing it. Come on. Is it doing it? Oh my god. Smith coming now. And it's struggling. And it has stopped. So four coaches maximum seems to be uh, up a hill. Um, I'll speed up a bit and just see if we can. Oh, aha! Uh -huh. Look faster and I can do it. So four coaches basically uh, is ma is basically the maximum of what. Uh, well, three coaches maximum to get up the round hills. If you want a straight initial level track, uh, four coaches uh, the long run class can do. Right then, let's go on to locomotive number two, which um, I'll pick, well, the fastest steam locomotive I have in my collection, Queen Mary. Right, so here I keep Queen Mary down to the track, and uh, well, obviously a lot will 
little slip uh, happening here because it's going to be really fast. Which is, and it's also going to be quite uh, annoying to how to control it because it's going to be a bit more. By the way, Connect Ball 2 characters, which uh, you've probably seen in the summer Vince Galore go on that acre, so uh, I'll just do it. Good old speed. Now, oh, there, I should do it. As you can clearly see, it's, it's got good control and it can easily pull two coaches. And look at that, I, I've actually made it to go to a slow speed for once. Yeah, so. What's it there? So, two coaches it can pull. Right then, um. Now I've got to put on any other coach, which I'll put on yeah, on this one here, the uh or the uh the nice looking uh oh, this coach here. I'll put on the back because it only has one coupling. And then the look at the stupid is on the front. That might be a fair test. It's got a lot of weight on the front. There we go, right on the back now. Right. Three coaches, can it pull that? Uh, uh, uh. I'm basing on 30% power. Well, 25 got yeah, 30% power. And it's doing it, just pull it up the hill. Still going, still going, still going. It's still sitting a lot. Ooh, 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 ooh. And it's done. It has managed to do three coaches and it nearly stopped, so I'll probably say that if I do four coaches, um, it will struggle a lot and it won't do it. So I'll probably say three coaches maximum. Oh yeah. I realise that, so the Mormon class um, and the Queen Mary are both in the same mounts. I mean, I'll probably say it's exactly the same as the Mormon class, it could probably pull. Uh, four coaches straight level track, uh, but I don't really want, want to do that. So, so uh, instead of just damaging the locomotives, because uh, when you do it, it flattens out the wheels and just wears them out slightly. And it's not to start. But anyway, Queen Mary done. Maybe one more uh, overall look what to do, and then I'll move on to freight. And uh, then I'll see well, what it actually pull. So. Let's meet the final O4O for O4O locomotive for O4O locomotive for passengers. And so here we have the final O4O for coaches wives. Co 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 coach chest to see how many we can pull. Um, which is the diesel shunter. Now it is a bit dodgy, I have to say. Uh, with the fact that it uh, doesn't really run properly. So I'm hoping it can get on the rails before it actually cuts out. Um, which obviously then now I just have to just get rid of it and just well just put the one side and not use it again for this video. But anyway, can it actually itself? Right, itself the answer is new. So I'm just gonna As you did see in the video I did oh no it's going the wrong way. The DVD was four by six. Um I don't know if I'm going to put it in the back there because uh, it wasn't working properly. It's doing this thing from maintenance. It needs a overhaul basically. <sighs> yeah, as you can see why it doesn't really want to run properly. This is why me and Joey do it for 6 put it on a flatbed. So, uh, goodbye. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't actually throw it, I just caught it in my hand. Right then, I'll just, uh, let's just see what camera rolling. Um, I'll just put the critical to one side. I get the one one class back on the track again. And then get some freight. Uh, so I need to do, um, what I'm going to do is get the freight, and it's currently two coaches long. So... Gotta find two long, well, two pictures of long rake or flat ends. And I just found that because I've got a freight train out, which I was using for 
Well, it's good news for another video, which uh, it went horribly wrong. Um, basically, as, as I was doing it, um, I, I got rid of it now. It was close to the, um, today's video. Um, but, um, well, basically the, what actually happened was, as I'm riding the trains, it's all collapsed, and, uh, there's a little crashes, and due to the fact that one locomotive was faster than the other, and crashed into each other, and it wasn't very nice. Now, I was basically trying to do, uh, different uh, locomotive styles, you'll see, like, double headers, single headers, bankers, that sort of thing. As I was trying to do it, one cut out, it wouldn't, wouldn't uh, and the other one wasn't, it didn't cut out, and uh, it was that annoying that I, I just spoiled myself, right, I'm getting rid of this video. So I'm doing this one instead, which I did, I uh, did come up, up a bit. But anyway, I've just got uh, two uh, coaches of uh, wagons, well, two coaches worth of wagons, with no very grand, just to make sure there's no um, cheating going on. So let's get the one one class and go away and see what we can do. And I just realised we don't have a luxury. Right, we give some speed, and off he goes. Uh, so far, doing well. And has made it round. Well done. Right, so I've realised that uh, three wagons is worth uh, one coach. So every three hours, if every wagon so that I pick up is the first coach, which is all right. Um, so yeah. Right, so next three wagons, moving on to the track. And then the final one. This one here. Right, so let's get going. Of course, also you do this for future videos. And will it do it? Three coaches worth, three coaches worth of wagons. And it's struggling a bit up the hill. Still going, still going, still going. And it stops. Let me move the camera around. Oh, hello. Move the camera around. Will it go? Will it go? Will it go? It's moving forward, still. Only just. Move the camera over here. Look, you can see. Oh, oh, oh. I want to move again. Right. Oh, ah. Wagons. Wagons, wagons, wagons. Failed me. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Problem with the wagons wise. Um, that, this wagon here is that annoying. It keeps coming undone because these these things are all different heights to different like to the other wagons, and uh, when one gets uh, a bit jolty, it comes undone. It's a bit annoying. Right then. I just I excluded the uh, these trunks there because it wasn't really good enough. Uh, so what I'm now going to do is bring in the um, Queen Mary, and uh, I'm going to take off three wagons in the back. Um, yeah, do that. Um, great. Coaches worth of wagons. And we'll cover this up, can marry up to the wagons, and then see what happens. There we go. The fast as it just went in. There we go. And it has cleared it easily, just like the one we crossed it. So, this wagons, it's fine. Same as one one class, fine. And also due to the fact that each wagon has different uh, wheels. Uh, I'm really 
What's the wheels ones? You know, all plastic ones. So it's slightly unfair. Uh, but I suppose to do the plastic wheels all different things. Um, they always cooperate with each other, so uh, it's quite annoying. Like that, but uh, right. Three coaches worth of wagons. Do this. Really, this up there. Of course, we marry. Turn the camera around. So you can see. Ah, oh, the ruddy wagon. Yeah, it's done. It's done the thing again. Where it's uh, basically uncovered from its train again. Right, make sure that it's actually probably cut balls. Just smash it into the back there, and then we'll get back going again. Put it there for me, Queen Mary, and then uh, oh, sauce power. Yeah, it's struggling quite bad there. Um, looking at it, if I if put in more white, uh, you know what? I'm gonna put two more wagons on. Well, actually, not two wagons, a wagon and a brake fan on, and then see what happens then because it managed to do that. So, this one right now, Scooter J50, which is uh, holding up my camera. I just thought it was easy, and also it's the heaviest locomotive so far, because the heaviest locomotive basically is a Deltic. The Deltic is not operational because it, it's still broken wire, so if you are wondering why, where the Deltic is, it's broken. Um, it's currently waiting for this wire to be fixed, because uh, my dad has a soldering equipment, so he's going to fix it. and. Uh, and he's got a, bit, a lot of stuff to do. He hasn't got the time to do it at the moment. But anyway, let's get going for now. And yeah. As you can see here, Queen Mary cannot pull next to Wagons. Or Paul Wagon or Break Man. Uh, well, anyway. That's all the time we've got. Oh, that's all the time we've got uh, for today. Uh, so thank you all very much for watching. I'll just uh, bring the uh, the other two locomotives around. Um, class here, and then the uh, well, I just shouldn't really include that because it didn't do anything. Uh, but yeah, uh, so that they can both pull. Uh, Oh, up three wagon, three coaches and nine wagons. Any more than nine wagons or any more than three coaches, it struggles immensely and it won't move or get stuck. Make it awful. Uh, and also, uh, the middle track is the uh, the straight the straightest one. The, well, the inner, very inner track here. Uh, has the one with the least amount of hills. I think it's very slight in. It's only got very slight in um, gradient. I see the fact that. Uh, the silicon under here, or well, under this mat, is now seems seems to be giving up. So uh, it's uh, peeling off. And if you if you do, if you have seen other videos like, uh, I'll show you silicon hill. This is silicon hill right here. Uh, it causes this cause other hills to form, which is really annoying. But uh, so with that, thank you all, all very much for watching and. Uh, I'll see you next time for some more experiments. Goodbye everyone.